What causes people to be allergic? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Huh? Why do humans have eyebrows? Firstly, our arch-shaped eyebrows help channel our sweat as well as the rain towards the sides of our faces, thus protecting our <laughs> eyes. Secondly, eyebrows help us express a wide range of emotions like surprise, anger, etc. Lastly, eyebrows also help in recognizing faces. In a study, scientists found that participants had a tougher time recognizing people's faces when their eyebrows were erased. Hmm. What is the science behind spider webs? Firstly, the spider uses its silk thread to connect both the endpoints, thus forming a bridge. Hmm. Secondly, the spider also ties a loose thread between both the points. Now from the center of the loose thread, it adds a new thread and pulls it to form a Y shape. Hmm. It then joins the three points to form a frame. Then it starts laying radial threads till the web becomes strong enough. Finally, from the center of the web, it starts laying the silk threads spirally, eventually completing the web. <laughs> hmm. How is gold formed? Simple! Gold is formed like this. Oh, chum pum! <laughs> gold is produced only when a supernova occurs, as in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring huh? its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. What exactly huh? is altitude sickness? I think, I think, I think it might be a burger or a pizza. Oh, chump hum! We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. Hmm. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high altitude pulmonary huh? edema thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, huh? as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum-pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house mini needle-like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle-like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. What is mpox? Simple. When monkey eats a pox, he becomes an mpox. Oh, huh? chum pum. Monkey pox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like huh? disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes smallpox. Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Huh? Symptoms huh? of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples, 
or bristles. Also, monkeypox is rarely fatal. Hmm. Why do humans have a belly button? Simple. To do belly dance. Oh, chump pum. When a baby is growing inside a mother's <laughs> womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Do blind people really dream? Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. Oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. What are headaches? No idea. But Chum Pum can give a headache to anybody. Oh, Chum Pum. The pain that we sometimes experience in our upper neck or head is commonly called a headache. Headache is not an indication of our brain hurting. In fact, the brain does not have any pain receptors to experience pain. Headaches are commonly caused due to inflammation or overactivity of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels in our head or neck. Migraine is a common example of this type of headache. Hmm. How do we puke? No idea. Chum Pum never pukes. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm. Does an octopus have nine brains? Yes, but it doesn't use any of them. Huh? Oh, chum pum. An octopus has a decentralized nervous system <laughs> with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, huh? and control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm.